Warning, before this video begins, I have to say that this video is one, my opinion, two, used only for educational purposes, and three, I am in no way affiliated with Carnegie Learning or Mathia in the slightest, except saying my opinion about Mathia. So you may be asking, well, what is this Mathia thing that you're talking about? Mathia is apparently a program which is technically for 6 through 12, but I've only gotten into it this year. Well, it's, it's a math program for 6 through 12. Basically, middle school and high school. And you're also probably asking, why do you care about this? And how does this even relate to you in the slightest? Well, my school uses it. And I have a lot of opinions about it. And even the math teacher which will be unnamed, despises it. Well, not despises, think it's a good idea, but badly executed. So I forgot to mention that this video is basically an overview, and that I prefer my math teacher over a mildly condescending or completely condescending cartoon character that Mathia has as a tutor. One explains, the other one attempts to explain, but since it's been pre-coded and doesn't really adapt, it's stuck in saying exactly the same thing for exactly everybody, but for different questions. Yeah, it, you see, you know, notice the satellite around the what you have to assume is a woman and her head, but it's very loosely a woman and probably isn't a woman and is just a weird creature that came out of space from Mars. And yes, mine does look creepy. I did this on purpose. Thanks, Mafia, for the option. Also, the satellite looks like it is going to decapitate her and her what seems to be like a wart, but it's not a wart because it's technically her hair, even though it doesn't look like hair. I don't know why. This is an option to have the same skin color as a hair color. It, it looks bad. It, it really does. Carnegie, please change that. Please. Also, why does it look like she's astronaut Barbie? Really. Very made up for space. I also, too, I too also like to look sexy for aliens because sometimes you want an alien as a date. When you zoom in, the satellite goes into the wrong spot. Lazy coding? Probably because that's a big coincidence. Smile's creepy, and I also think this looks like the beginning of a bad Canadian sci-fi. Spoiler alert, they all die or none of it actually happens. Also, when you open the expression editor for one thing, which you needed the expression editor, but then forget to close it, then it shows up again, even though it should automatically detect which ones need the expression editor and which Questions just don't need it. It's wasting time. Just, just, it takes a little bit of effort. Just put in a small amount of effort. I mean, it probably doesn't take that much effort. It probably actually does take much effort. I don't know why I'm saying this, but please do it. I'd like to see that. Progress bar is the bane of my existence. It both triggers my ADHD and anxiety. Wow. In this tight little package. Not very good package though. Plus it also can go down for some reason. What the heck? N no really, what the heck? What the heck, Carnegie Learning? I was stuck at this progress for 30 questions. 
Even when I answered correctly, it was annoying. That's why you need to remove the progress bar. I know it's beneficial to some people, but it's really annoying. So then you're just watching it 24-7 instead of being like, I need to do this problem. No, you're more like, is if I answer this, Will the progress bar go down? Then I'll have to do another question, another question. So, progress bar existing, not good. Not good for most people. Well, not most people, some people. Matthew, for the progress bar, it's real helpful. Can we also talk about the inspirational quotes that you get after completing a workspace? Mm, they're great. Nice job working through the mathematics. Sounds grammatically awkward. And that was hard work. Blank something about brain fact thing. And then third one's completely useless. Like, I don't really care. It's unnecessary. But you still included it. I'm fine with it. But no one says nice job working through the mathematics. Please change that to, nice job working through that math. You did a good job. That would sound better than what you have now. Also, just doing workspaces, like, wow, I got to flex on everybody else. I did so many workspaces, guys. No, no, it should, you should earn tokens or some type of points or something to earn something about schools, like maybe reward parties, outside time, school pencils, water bottles, something. We need an incentive. Go to college to earn more money. Some incentive. Mathia needs an incentive, but it doesn't. Can we also talk about the overall design? It's definitely childish. Algebra 1, this more looks like something I would see in third grade. Well, not third grade. Maybe third, two-fifths grade that that's fitting it fits snugly i keep seeing like two screens there's way too many screens you should be able to scroll up and down and the 100 percent or how much percentage you have should be coming up with you if you scroll down but if you scroll up then well it won't be there it'll be at the top because if you're at the top also if you read the code for the satellite and the star, there is a thing that says satellite egg, NG class, star killer. Where is star killer? I want to see a star explode or something. Star disappear. Something. At least something. Because then that's just useless. Completely useless. And it's annoying. Unless you're meaning something else like. Woo, I'm going to spin around. Because if you're meaning that, why? Wait, Easter egg class? Huh. Well, still, please include it. It would be actually somewhat cool. Please. So I've already finished math here. 100%. 103 out of 103 workspaces. But the site just doesn't update that well. It's just like, hey, no. And it also gets stuck at the previous percentage instead of updating. And you have to like close the tab or refresh about 10,000 times. It's annoying. Please fix that. It's annoying to have to like refresh or check an hour later because you don't want to do that. And this should read 100%. But it doesn't. And also about finishing, Matthew. Finishing is kind of lame. Nothing happens. It's very anticlimactic. Something at least. Please, con confetti? N nothing? Okay. It's fine, I guess. Mm, okay. Bye. Yeah, this is about as anticlimactic as finishing Mafia is.